everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I look a bit of a fright, but I don't care because um, I'm like barely able to get this done in between jobs. So <laughs> take what you can get. I'm like, <sighs> anyways, let's talk November empties and nightmare pan because I'm so proud of my, I'm so proud of myself right now. Check out, like, this is a full box of empties for this month. Like I went through so much, so much stuff for this month. Um, if you've never watched me, hi, I'm Sparkle Jezebel. I like to talk about palettes and places and uh, every once in a while pets, but they won't come in today because I closed the door. Um, anyways, so I would usually um, just kind of like put all my stuff into categories, but I'm just going to go through and pull stuff out of the box and tell you what I think of them. So let's get started. Okay, I had to take my sweater off since uh, I'm like dying of the heat. I don't know. I think I'm being sick or I'm just really tired. I've been working a lot lately. It fucking sucks. Anyway, so I have my trash bag here. Very excited to put all this stuff in the trash as opposed to having it under my desk. So the first thing is my sponge gel. It is dyed but <laughs> pink, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. I love sponge gels. It's no secret. Um, I don't remember what scent this was because I used it with, after it ran out of the soap it came with, I used it with this little guy. This is uh, the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana. I love this scent. Like mm, this thing is empty because I like used all. I love, I love this scent. I think it smells like butter popcorn and butter popcorn is one of my favorite smells in the entire universe. Um, so I'm actually working through a spray and one of their lotions right now. So love both of these. Yay. Um, more body stuff. This is Cottage. This is the douche, the douche lay hydra, hydratant moisturizing shower milk gel de douche. Um, it's a body wash, passion fruit scented, which also mm, smells so good. Um, but I use this as bubble bath. I found a hack for bubble bath. Um, empty, I really like it. I already have another one that I am working through right now, only I got pink grapefruit. Um, and I don't like it as much as I like this one. Um, but yeah, it foams up just like a, a regular American bubble bath. So God, this red is amazing on me. It is Ofra Brickell. I love Ofra. Everything I, and that's what my cheeks are today too. Everything I use from Ofra. Anyways, yay, love it. Moving right along. Um, another thing from Spain. This is the Color Core Reviva Mascarilla. And it is basically, I love this stuff. Already bought another one um, and using it. This is what I use to color my hair right now since I'm broke as a joke. It is a three minute colored mask that I use. I mean, it works okay. I need to do it again. I use do it like every third or fourth shampoo and conditioner. And it covers up the gray, which... I, last time I got my hair cut was in July on my 40th birthday, cut in color. So I'm definitely due for one, but I'm like maintaining and this is definitely helping. This is a Euro, like Euro 69. And I get like three or four uses out of this little guy. Amazing. Definitely bought, bought another one. I'm going chestnut brown next time now, just for a little change. And I like it. Definitely worth it. Lots of winners this year, this year. <laughs> so tired this month. Let's talk about a loser. I bought this just a few weeks ago in Pamplona. This is from Primark. This is just their PS Chill Zone. Their little five pan eyeshadow palette. I don't know if I can make it work. It, it looks more, it is green, I guess. This shade is green. It's really cute. I like the, I like the color story, but it's trash. I might hold on to it. I'm not going to put it directly in trash. I might hold on to this just to destroy it because it sounds like fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to destroy this. I don't need it in my collection. So I guess you can call it a declutter and then an empty. There are some declutters in here. Um, 
only because like I finally got my stuff at the beginning of November. So I'm now working with my full collection and I went through some stuff and was like, oh yeah, this, this is bad now. So I basically moved trash, but that's okay. We'll live. Um, I went through a little thing of dry shampoo. I have been living off of dry shampoo, especially since I'm straightening my, straightening my hair again. So this sat in my car. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Um, I mean, it's good. It's fine. I, I think I'd rather just use Batiste. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I, I never really, my hair doesn't like this brand and this is fine. I mean, it's empty. I used it all, but I wouldn't buy a full size of this. If another little baby came into my life for free, if someone sent one to me, I'd use it, but I'm not going to go searching for this or this brand in general, but I'm also very, I just don't give a shit when it comes to, I, I, I hate my hair. If you guys know of any, this is genetic, my bald spots, it's genetic. There's nothing I can do about it. I've tried. I've been dealing with it my entire life. It is what it is. Um, I, I, if you have any sort of hints or tricks, let me know, but I'm just kind of accepting the fact that this is what I'm stuck with. So yay. Um, another awesome thing, Origins, my, one of my favorite skincare brands, you guys know that. This is the original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay. Um, I like this stuff a lot. It really makes my skin look beautiful. I try to use some sort of retexturizing mask, um, maybe once a week or so. And I really like this. My only beef with it is that since it's rose clay, I want it to smell like rose. Rose is one of my favorite scents and it doesn't, it kind of smells like butt, but it's not like horrible, but it's, it's, I don't know. Hold on. It's like fresh newborn baby, butt. it's not bad. It's just, I want it to smell like rose. Have some more of these definitely will reuse when I buy a full size one. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm moving quickly because I have to work again in like 45 minutes. So I'm like shoving all this in. Um, oh, and I'm Whoa. <laughs> I almost had a, a, a fail. Uh, an empty candle. <sighs> Bath and Body Works leaves. I love this scent. If anybody wants to send me fall scented candles, I will take them off your hands and I will even pay for shipping and stuff. Um, I don't know what this one's supposed to smell like, but it smell, it's called leaves and it smells like heaven. I'm sad to see this one go. Let's get me another one more, one more half of it. Okay. Trash. It's now trash. Um, <laughs> full size hyaluronic acid. <laughs> um, this is the inky list hyaluronic acid. Uh, I like this. Um, I have uh, quite a few of hyaluronic acid serums that I need to use, but if and when I ever run out, um, I would consider buying this again. It was, it didn't smell. It absorbed into my skin. Um, it's nice. I would use, yeah, inky list. Cool. Yay. In the trap. I tell you like a whole box full of shit is awesome. I'm so proud of myself for this month. Um, another hair mask. This is a Schwarzkopf Gliss, I bought this here. Um, Ultimate Repair SOS Mini Mascarilla. It was like a Euro, I thought I'd give it a try. It wasn't anything special. I got two uses out of it since I don't have any hair. Um, eh. Eh. Hmm. No, not really. Uh, this is the declutter. Uh, so right when we first got here, I, want, I bought this. This is Le Cosmetique Design Paris. Um, and it is a tinted sunscreen. And I was like, cool. And it's the shade fair, I believe. Oh, where's the shade? Carrefour, it's Carrefour brand. Um, I don't know, doesn't say, but it's supposed to be shade fair. And uh, it is not my shade. <laughs> it's very not my shade. And I tried to make it, you can, there it is. I tried to make it work and uh, yeah, not my shade. So 
five euro down the drain. Uh, if anybody wants this, I'll hold on to it. You know, if you think you, I mean, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's oxidizing on me. I don't know if you can really see. I'll try, I'll take a picture and I will insert the picture here in one of these two spots. Cause I could never, I have no sense of whatever. Um, um, it's not my color. Like there's no way around it. Like if you all hold on to it for a hot minute and if somebody's watching this and they want it, I'll send it to you. But, and if you want this, if you want any of my declutter stuff, any of my like neat European crap that I bought that I'm getting rid of, just let me know, hit me up. Um, we go this isn't european this is the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask it's a little baby you know i am trying glow recipe stuff and i have yet to be like wowed by them i mean it's okay it's all right like i felt like this if, and i feel like this with a lot of their products they don't absorb into my skin it doesn't absorb like i would get in the shower and it would just be like the next morning and it would just be like slimy on my face. And I'm working through their hyaluronic, their plum plum hyaluronic acid right now. And I kind of feel the same way about that. Like I'm going to use it, but I kind of feel the same way about that, that it just doesn't really absorb into my skin. Um, but I'm going to keep trying glow recipe stuff. Let me know if there's something that I'm missing. I am very interested in their spray because I've heard great things about it. So let me know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy that. Um, here's another conditioner because I've just been conditioning my hair apparently. Uh, this is a little tiny Bay Breeze hydrating shot from Dry Bar. When I bought this, I thought it was like a leave-in conditioner, but it's not. It's the, the directions. It says shampoo hair and squeeze out excess, spray entire bottle into hair section by section, massage, and then leave in. So the leave-in and rinse well. So it's a leave-in like, and I was like, I don't got the patience for that. So I just, you know right into my hands and it was fine. I'm not gonna buy a new one. This is like rich bitch hair shit. And I just, oh, the patients. Um, boom, boom, cream, boom, boom, cream, boom, boom, cream. Um, I love this shit. Um, I have oh, so many of them and like, it's my favorite lotion. This and the, and the blue one, the Coco Cabana. Um, when I am 85 years old and I finally run out of lotion to use, I will buy more of this, but not now <laughs> because I have so much lotion to get through. Like it's stupid, but it is winter now and it is a lot colder. Like it, I'm really testing the whole like, oh yeah, I could live in Seattle thing because the weather here is like, is it going to rain? I don't know. 10 minutes later, is it going to rain? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's going to rain. I don't know. Here's what this looks like on my skin right now. So it's definitely not the right color for me. What do I know? I was here for like three days when we bought that. Um, so boom, boom, cream. Love it. Okay. Next here's something that I it's full and almost full. It's like to here and I'm just decluttering. I tried to make it work and it's gross. It's rose water. It's Maven beauty, rose water setting spray. I wanted it to work. The rose water thing really was, I was like, mm, you know, cause I love rose and uh, this is trash. I tried to make it work. I had it in my declutter slash get rid of box. And then I was like, no, I'm going to try it. I'm, I kept it here to use like on my brushes if I wanted to wet my brush and it was still trash. So trash, I'm not even going to like offer to send it to you because it's trash, it belongs in the trash. Um, I finished up body lotion. This is the Caudalie nourishing body lotion. Um, I would use this at night before I went to bed and I like this. The scent is okay. Like. I don't like it, but I don't love it. Like it's like something about it. Ew. Oh, no, like jizzed on me. I'm glad I like it enough. Cause it just like literally went up my nose. Yeah. Um, oh. um, I like it. I don't love it. I like it. But again, I have so much body lotion that I have no business buying anything like that. Mother I still have like, no, um, this is unfortunately a trash. I'm so sad about this. This is a, a tart, um, sorry, a tart color corrector palette that unfortunately smells like crayon. Um, it's the color your world color correcting palette. 
Bummer. It's dead. It smells like crayon. It has to go in the trash. Here is another thing that I bought. This I bought in Portugal when we were there. Uh, the Toro en Uno all-in-one BB cream. Again, it's, <laughs> it's in shade light and it's just not light, but it's SPF. I'm sorry. F, F, FPS 15. Um, so it's just, a, you know, Portuguese. There's the shade. I'm not going to put it on my hand. Um, but I will, if you want this stuff, I will send it to you. Just let me know. Um, moving right along, moving right along. Used one of these little eye masks. I need to use more of them because I feel like the bags under my eyes are gross. I love these. I stocked up on these. These are the Grace and Stella. It's like an energy drink for your eyes. Anti-wrinkle and energizing eye mask. Yay, go me. Um, oh, speaking of eye mask, or speaking of mask, a sheet mask. Go oh, an I'm Rose sheet mask. Yay, I like these. I don't really think they do anything, but they're like cheesy. Like, yay, let's do something special. Lay in bed for 15 minutes with this thing on your face and scare your cats. I have a million of these, so might as well use them now. Uh, another candle. <laughs> I, I look halfway through the month. I was like, "Oh, mm, this is the Glade." I, this is the Glade pumpkin spice candle. I love the smell. Smells like America. Bye. Um, some stuff that I finished for the nightmare pan, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, this is the Ziaja, Ziaja, Zia, I don't know. I got it on Amazon, but yes. And it is the red current bubble bath. This is fine. This is before I discovered that I could use the ship from Carrefour for a euro 99. Um, it's fine. I think it's Polish. English, Dutch, Spanish, Portuguese, Czech. Oh, I think that's wrong. Oh no, I'm right. Made in Poland. It's fine. It was like five euro. I would buy it if I need to, but I don't need to. So, all right. <sighs> Getting down to it. Sponge that I used for Halloween, but it's dead. Like it was dead when I used it for Halloween. That's why I used it. Trash. Oh man, this sucks. I have some uh, Super Shock shadows here that, like, I tried to save them. And they're just not, they're dead, they're dead. Um, this one is oh, lace. This is such a pretty freaking purple. Look at it, it's so pretty, but it's dead. My friend sent this to me to rehydrate and I rehydrated it and used it a few more times and then it can't, it's, it's dead. I just, I can't, I can't save it. Um, so if anybody has one of these that they wanna send me, I'll pay for it because I love the color. Uh, and then we have, hammered, which is again, something I rehydrated and then it just didn't take. So bummer. And then we have Moonwalk, which is actually, I repurchased this. It's on its way to me. And I like really actually used this one because I mean, I must liked it, hit pan on it. Um, so they just smell, you know, when you're, when your makeup starts going bad and you're, you just, you just know. So for these three, I just, sad um uh, all on the same lines we have some lippies that i just they went bad actually this one didn't go bad <laughs> this is the color pop ultra blotted lip and this is the color starling and this one i i'm calling it done like I'm, i used quite a bit of it i, I mean it's bad it smells bad but I used a lot of it. Like, I feel pretty good about this one. I'm not like, well, I'm an idiot and I didn't use it. They, you know, I'm wasting money. No, I got a good use out of this. So trash. Um, but these, like this one I bought, I used once at TJ Maxx. This is Pacifica Enlightened Gloss, Nourishing Mineral Lip Shine. Used it once. It came over on the boat in shade Poppy. I went through my lipstick I, my lip gloss. Most of my lipsticks came with me here because I don't want them to melt. So most of my glosses came on the boat and it's dead. Waste of $2.99. Stinky. Shitty. 
Um, same with this. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Wet and Wild in shade Coral Corruption. It just stinks. Uh, clutter, I don't need it. This Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in shade 503. It's really pretty. Um, I think I got this on sale and I don't know if it's bad or if it's just like, oh, it's not bad. No, I don't like, I just don't like the smell. I don't know if it's bad or if I just don't like the smell, but I don't need it. I have a gazillion fucking lipsticks to get through. And if I don't like it and I don't like the smell, then it goes in the trash. Like I, this is the game that I'm playing now. Um, my finished mascara. This is the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes. It's fine. I mean, I finished. I don't even know if I finished it or if I was just like, I'm done now which is what I usually do with mascaras because nobody really finishes it. Like, does anybody really finish a mascara? Um, it's not my favorite. Um, my new favorite is the Vivian Sabo Cabaret Premiere. This shoe is awesome. Um, even from Essence, this is no Lash Princess, but I finished it. Um, here's another lipstick that was nasty. Um, this is, I bought this because I want to do like cool lip looks with it. It's blue and it's so pretty. And I got it from Shop Miss A. I paid a dollar for it. <laughs> oh, it smells like cheap. Oh, it smells like preschool. And I don't want this anywhere. Ooh. I don't want it anywhere near me. Um, I got some stuff left. Okay, good. Um, Ole Hendrickson, just a little sachet of the brightening gel cream I don't know I can never really tell you what I think about this shit and these little sachets because like but it's I mean you didn't make me break out so yay um this Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primer in nude matte there's still some in there but it's bad um this is some good shit and I'm sad that it went bad but it went bad um that's what happens when you amass a shit ton of makeup and then you send it on a boat it is what it is it's fine um, this I got to use up did a little tiny baby. Uh, this is the professional. This is the benefit for primer professional. Um, I love this stuff. Honestly, like I know it gets a bad rap, but I like fucking used all of it because I like it. I like a pore filling primer. Um, I've been using the elf mini mint melt. Elf mint melt. And, like I'm gonna use it up, but I don't like it's sticky. I guess I don't like a sticky primer. Like something new, but it's tiny. I liked it. It's trash. Um, same thing with this. I finished a I finished an eyeshadow base. Like <laughs> November was a good month. Um, this is the NARS eyeshadow base. It was like a white kind of cleary eyeshadow. You can't really you can see that clear kind of eyeshadow base. It was fine. I mean, I would never pay for NARS eyeshadow. But like if I'm going to buy NARS, it's going to be like one of their lips or one of their cheeks, like, or an eyeshadow. I'm like, this is stupid, but I had it. It's fine. I used it. So yay. Um, a origin, the little baby checks and balances, uh, polishing face scrub with tourmaline. Um, one of my favorite face washes ever is the origin checks and balances. Like I love it. I love the way it makes my face feel. It's gentle. It doesn't have any actives in it. So I use the day after I use a retinol and, um, and this stuff is fine. Like it's not the same as the regular smooth, creamy stuff. I have a couple of like little baby ones of these. I will use them for sure, but I'm not going to buy a full size one of this. Um, this kills me actually it doesn't kill me because it's the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I can't stand the lip injection to begin with, but this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and this is in pumpkin spice. And you know, your girl does not throw away pumpkin spice shit, but this is nasty. Ooh, no, mm -mm. it smells, mm, no, I don't, mm. I'm not putting this on my lips. It's really cute, little pumpkins, pumpkin pie, but no. That's gross. I don't even think it went bad. I think it's just gross. Um, I finished a plant, an origins plant scription. This, 
Uh, this is the anti-aging power serum. I love this stuff. Um, I use it on my face every morning as my skincare. Um, I put on my, um, how do you call it? My eyeshadow base and let that sit for a minute. And then I do this and then under eye cream and then either a moisturizer or something else. But this is a staple. I love this stuff. Honestly, I have so many of these little guys, but if I ran out of this, I would buy this and I would buy it full price. Origins, the best. We're getting down to the last one, two, three, six things, at least before we transition. Um, this is a Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse Hyper Matte, Hyper Matte. And uh, it's just, it just doesn't smell good. Like, I don't know if it's bad or if it doesn't smell good, but it's a red lipstick. And I have a gazillion and a half red lipsticks. And if it is a red lipstick and I don't like it. Like this one is amazing. I'm getting rid of it. Bye. I think I paid like $3 for it. Ulta sucks, but oh, I, um, I have two little perfume babies here. This is Tory Burch Jolie Fleur Bleu. I don't remember. It's fine. I don't remember, whatever. And this is Elizabeth Arden white tea. I guess I wanted to smell like a grandma, but I don't mind it done. Yay. I have so many of these. I'm, and I'm like, I'm going to use up my, my little tiny travel, uh, Sol de Janeiro one. And I have a million of these little fucking things. I have to get through them. I will perfume lasts. So, um, I have a black lippy from Carity. This is a black matte. I think it just went bad. Yep. I just don't like the smell. I don't know if it's bad or if I don't like the smell or whatever, but I'm, well, I have another black that I just got from ColourPop. Don't need to. Um, this is a prism cream eyeshadow that I got from Shop Miss A, and I swear I ordered it in black. I swear I did because I needed a black cream base for like, you know, I need a black cream base. And I got... Here it is. I got pink and I'm not going to use this. And it's stinky. It smells like plastic. I don't want to use it. Last thing for this section of the video is this Mana Kandar. Crap, should I? And this is in the shade of shade. It's a pretty shade. I don't know if you can see it. It's a pretty shade, um, but I think it's just bad and I don't need it. So that is the first part of this video. This poor box has shit all over the bottom of it, but that's a lot of fucking empties. And we're not even done yet because we are gonna transition to Project Nightmare Pan and I'm gonna go through and tell you how I did there right now. Hi, all right, so um, we're back. Let's talk about Nightmare, the Nightmare Pan Project. Yay, I love it. So this is my first update and let me get everything here. Um, okay, so hold on. Oh, Zoom, you're so fun. I record on Zoom, it's easy. Um, so, but before we start, I thought I had these in my Nightmare Pan and I'm way more organized now, um, but I finished some more stuff. Um, I thought these were in there, but they're not. Um, so this is my um, little exfoliate cleanser. Yeah, because we're not done with empties. <laughs> um, this is my little exfoliate cleanser. I love this. This is a holy grail item for me. I will never be without it. Um, I would buy this full price. This is this is one of my favorite face washes ever. I love it. Um, and then the last two. Actually, this is from a, this is my this is nightmare fan. Um, okay, so this is my Almar Cosmetics. This is my boo. Um, it didn't break. I, okay, so I was going to use it to look, look like this. Um, but then I got the rest of my stuff and I was like, I have so much crap that I should just like, really, like it was starting to get hard pan and it was like to the point where it was hard to pick up product. So I called it. And then when I put it in this box, it broke. So I'm call, I, I finished this blush. I finished a fucking blush and um, that's dope. 
Love you. I have more of these, um, but I'm taking a break from them. So let's talk about Nightmare Pan. So let's go over what I did in November. Um, I was kind of messed, in, messed up in November. And then like right after I started it, um, I got all my stuff and then everything kind of went nuts. And now I'm like overwhelmed and stuff, but now I'm back on track and everything is great. And this is going to be good. So here are my prompts from November. Halloween was the full size mask. And this is the Dutch dirt mask. I didn't really have a goal for it, um, but now I'm going to carry this over for December. And my goal is to finish it. I won't finish it. I'll probably carry it over for January. This is a powerful ass mask. I can only use it like once or twice a month. Um, but I like this. I really like this. Um, it looks like you're spreading feces. It smells like, I don't know, it smells Dutch. But if you can see that, it looks like you're spreading poop all over your face. But once you get over it and you like take it off your face and you're like, dang, look at my face, it looks nice. Um, it's great. Do not leave it on for longer than 15 minutes because I did that, my bad. Um, so this is, I'm carrying this over for December. I'm also carrying over the conjuring. Why did I buy this? Um, I bought it because I'm trying to find the, the right eyebrow product for me. I have since found it, but I'm gonna use this. This is the e.l.f. little four pan, you know, quad eyebrow product. And um, my goal last month was to hit pan. And um, I was originally trying to hit pan in the clear, but then I moved to this one and I've done it. I haven't done it, but I have made quite some progress in that. You can see, yeah, you can see like, I'm almost there. And my goal is to hit pan on this. I don't love this, but I am not going to let this beat me. I'm going to finish it or not finish it, but I'm going to hit pan. And then when I hit pan, this is going bye bye. Um, I just don't like it. Like, I mean, it's okay, but I much prefer just something in a spoolie that I can just because I already have thick brows. This feels like it doesn't really do much. Um, so yeah, this is staying in. Oh, and the stuff that stays on my vanity for project pan goes in the bucket. Um, this goes back in the bathroom. The Exorcist, my favorite, one of my favorite movies. Um, a product that makes my head spin. This is my Awake Power After Hour 2% Retinol Complex. I love this stuff. My goal is to keep using it twice a week and I use this stuff twice a week. I use it on Wednesdays and Sundays and I look forward to using it. I love this stuff. This is staying in, but it's going back in the bathroom. Um, something that I'm rolling out is the Invisible Man. And that is the ColourPop concealer. Like I'm just not using concealer right now, which sucks because like, I just have to wear a mask on my face and I just, I don't know. I, I want to use it, but I'm just not going to. It still smells fine. Like it smells kind of painty. I mean, just cause it's not in the project doesn't mean I won't use it, but I'm taking it out of the project. So bye-bye. I always have a concealer on my desk. It's here. Um, something that I'm taking out of the project because I fucking finished it is the shining, something I have doubles of. Hey guys, I finished the powder. I finished the Becca powder. <laughs> Look at that. I finished it like this morning. It's December 2nd. So you know what? It counts. Um, I finished it. I'm so proud of myself. So I don't know what I'm going to do for my powder yet. I'm going to kind of go through this mess and hit my reset button for this mess that is my makeup, but ha -ha! get out something I would like out of my collection. I'm rolling this one out. I think, um, this is the Fenty eye brightener. I just didn't use, I just didn't, I just didn't use it. I want to use it. I just like at seven o'clock in the morning when I'm putting on makeup to go out, I just don't give a shit. I don't care what teenagers think of me. I have it and I not to say I won't use it, but it's not in this project. I'm rolling out uh, the get out pro prompt, something you'd like, uh, no, not, no, sorry. Scratch that, reverse it. I'm rolling out Rosemary's Baby, which was new to my collection when I started in November, the Falling For You palette. I didn't really have a goal other than to use the squash shade, this one right here. Um, to start a new habit, which was to blend out my eyeshadow up here more. And um, I did, and I don't know if you, 
I, I, you probably used it like 10 times. You probably can't see, but there is a pretty decent dent in that shade compared to the rest of the shades in this palette. And I really like this palette, but I have plenty more that I'm gonna use. And uh, another one that I finished, another fucking empty. I think this is the last empty for the month. Um, that's always here. Poltergeist is always here. Um, I'm just rolling it out. I still have this in the shower. I still use it once or twice a week, um, but you know, making room for new stuff. This is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I finished a full size. I love this. This is a holy grail item for me. It's like $85 a bottle. I have never, ever once paid full price for it. Hopefully I never, ever will, but oh, there might be like more use in here. Oh, you know what? I might take this back in the shower and see if I can get one more use out of it because this shit's expensive, um, but it feels pretty, and you know how it goes. It's it's empty for all intents and purposes. Um, so yeah, so December, Let, let's start afresh. I have a Google Doc here. Uh, my nightmare pan for December. I am still keeping in the Dutch dirt mask. My goal is to finish it, but I won't, but so the conjuring is the why'd you buy the elf, the exorcist makes my head spin, use it two times a week. Now let's start with new stuff. So the omen, <laughs> I love the omen. It's all for you, Damien. It's all for you. <laughs> I love this. Um, so um, that prompt is to use six pans, six times in a, in a palette. So I have this urban decay naked cherry palette that I wanted and I haven't used yet. So I'm going to use six pans, six times. Don't ask me how I'm going to keep track of it. I think maybe I will get a Sharpie and keep track that way. Six pans, six times. Um, and when I chose these palettes, I'm, I looked at the color stories and made sure that they were all a little different. Um, so there you go. And I made sure I only chose one color pup. I've been using my ColourPop lately because I have a video coming for you on that one. Um, I know what you did last summer, something I bought in the summer, last summer. So I bought the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls palette in July around my birthday, something like that, July or August, I don't know, it came out then. And I'm going to use this five times. Um, it's a really cute palette and I think I've only used it like once or twice. And I'm not a neutral basic bitch girl, but for some reason, these four shades up here are really calling my name. So I am going to use this guy five times, at least. That's the goal. Um, something that is still in the box, and it's pissing me off that it's still in the box, and I think about using it all the time, and then I just haven't, is this fucking Nomad Haunted Europe palette. I love this thing. It's like, hey, let's combine all of Stacy's favorite things. Haunted. Europe and eyeshadow palettes. I love Nomad. It's still in the box. The goal is to use it five times. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. Um, so yeah. on to Europe. Okay. And then so did I say that was for seven? That was the movie seven. I skipped that one. I think I fucked up just now. I did. So that was for seven. That was items still in the box, haunted Europe. And then children of the corn, <laughs> a food themed item. This fucking pumpkin spice palette from Too, Too Faced. It's so nice. Like it's a nice little palette and it's basic, but it's nice. Like these purples down here, it, I need to use it. So I'm going to use it five times. Use it. So there are the palettes. Um, we have the Quiet Place, Something Makes You Speechless. So this is my Kaleido blush, not Kaleidos, Kaleido, Kaleido, Kaleido. I fucking love this blush. I was looking for a dupe for the um, NARS Orgasm and I got this, somebody sent it to me for like a dollar and I used it and I was like, oh, oh. And now it's one of my favorite blushes and it's so pretty. It's like one of those pretty glowing blushes and it looks so nice on me. It makes me speechless. I know you probably can't see that very well, but it's so nice. And my goal is to use it 15 times, 15 times. 
So yeah, maybe I'll hit pan. I don't like to say, oh, I'm gonna hit pan because you know, no. Um, something I would like out of my collection. I have this get out something I like. I, I have the same prompt, but I'm putting something new in. This is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. So I have been looking at my collection. And so this AOA Studio, anything from Shop Miss A is hit or miss. I mean, it's a dollar each, a dollar 55. Um, so, you know, you get what you pay for, but this is pretty decent and I've used quite a bit of it. Um, so my goal is to finish it. I, there's still stuff, I mean, it's, there's still stuff in there. Like it's, it, there's it's still stuff in there, but I can, I can finish this this month. I just haven't been putting on face makeup. Like when I go to work because I wear a mask and like, why, why would I do it to my face? But I'm gonna do it. And then finally, I have 10 prompts for this month. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but I don't care. Um, I read somewhere that you either do six or 13. I'm like, that's not too much, not enough. Um, Jaws, water themed item. So I am doing, I have a gazillion eyeliners that just I need to use. So I went through my gel, uh, my ColourPop cream gel liners, and I found these three have water themed names so we have this little trio and this one is good reef this one is icebreaker and this one is overboard so um, my goal is to use each of these three times at least so those these are my products for my nightmare pan for the month of december and I will let you know how it goes. I think I'll do fine. I think I chose a really nice mix of stuff. I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, but it is a fucking disaster on this desk here. Like I can't, I can't deal. Like I sit and I just look at it and I get overwhelmed and then I use the same five things over and over. So I'm going to take off a lot of stuff, put it over here. So it's just out of the way and go from there. And hopefully that will help me kind of focus in. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, you are the real star of the show. Um, Sparkle Jezebel on Instagram. Like, I don't know, dislike, shit. I'll take a dislike, you know, but don't dislike me. I'm, I'm too nice to dislike. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, I will put stuff in the description box down below. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. I filmed these two sections like an hour and a half apart and I'm so fucking tired. I don't even know how I'm still talking and I still have more classes that I need to teach. Um, so yeah, thank you so much and I will see you soon.